All right, here's my uh, second try with the new extruder. Uh, the first time the teeth weren't gripping, so uh, I flipped around the, uh, the bearing holder there, which the idler which presses against it, and uh, I'm giving it another try. Uh, my bed is ridiculously messy with ABS juice. I have just not been very discriminate about it. Um, <laughs> and meanwhile, I also added a little piece of tape here so you can see the motor spinning. You can see it's really going around very quickly here, but only one fiftieth of that motion is making it to that raptor gear right there, which you can see is messy with stuff. Um, and uh, that's probably going to harm its, its ability to press the stuff through, but we'll see. I think it's just a little bit loose still, but I can make a new bearing holder that keeps the bearing a little closer and lets me tighten it a bit more. Um, I was just thinking about how to do that, that'd be simple. Uh, meanwhile, uh, once again trying to do the Y end stop piece here. And uh, it's coming along well though, I mean, uh, it gets the, I mean, once it, once it's happy with the extrusion, you know, once the motor's actually working, the extrusion's just great. I set the, uh, I set all the numbers according to, uh, just, just the math. I just did all the measurements and did the math. And, this is what I'm getting so far, and it looks good. This is 0.3 layers, and they're really um, fat looking, just like you'd expect. Um, the last uh, print stopped, so hopefully this one will make it all the way through. That would be great if it does. Um, and uh, then we'll be printing with a new extruder. Um, so uh, I don't know if I'll keep the old one around or I'll get rid of it, but. Uh, other things, let's see, well, we readjusted this, uh, so we got the, the X end stop, uh, the, or uh, rather the X tension adjuster is working nicely. Um, and I've been using the one with the screw lately, because uh, the other one was, uh, uh, I just needed some adjustment, actually, you can see here the belt is a little bit torn, so, and uh, I needed to tension it up a bit, so I added this piece of wire ugly as that is, but the problem I have is that everything is, um, I believe the belt is super glued right now into the <laughs> X carriage, so if I want to do a new belt or anything like that, I have to also print a new X carriage probably, or at least acetone the glue out of there, as, and that could take a while. Uh, anyway, the, uh, yeah, the motor is going along well. I was worried about heat, uh, it is actually hot to the touch, um, and so is the gearbox. But my, my feeling is probably the, mo the gearbox acts as the as a, a heat sink for the motor as much as anything else. Uh, but if I need to add another heat sink to the motor, that's not a problem. Or if I need to point the fan onto the motor as well, that's not really a big deal. Uh, so the next thing I need to do is just get a, make a new fan mount that will mount onto those two front screws. We'll point the fan down kind of the same angle the camera here is. Uh, and then the air will be directed right at the top part of the nozzle. I have to get rid of as much of the heat as possible because you can see the, the nozzle is actually trapped up in there. It's, it's pretty much actually insulated inside that plastic. Uh, and that insulation is going to make the top just retain its heat, which I do not want. Uh, so I've got to get rid of as much heat above the nozzle as possible. So, uh, without uh, blowing too much air on to say an ABS print, it's fine with, with PLA, I actually will make a separate fan mount to blow it down, uh, and that won't be as big a problem because the, the nozzle doesn't get as hot. Uh, but uh, with ABS, it's a little more of an issue. Um, right now, it's doing great. I'm worried about, I suppose, if it heats up enough, it'll start to bind, and maybe that was the problem last time as much as anything. So, I'm going to keep an eye on it for a while, and... <laughs> Fingers crossed that it will all work out. But it looks like uh, I could probably print at higher speeds now once it's, uh, once it's tightened up, I can probably go for the higher speeds that I've been hoping for. My other issue with high speeds was just, you know, reversing uh, direction and so forth was kind of a big hassle with the giant motor on there. And now with the lighter 
motor, I think it'll be better. So, anyway, uh, I'll have to get some coffee. I got work to do. Building websites. So, <laughs> more about rep wraps uh, when I have more time. Ciao.